of all the countries that we were going to with the, the Hot Zone project, I was very eager to go back to Afghanistan. I had been there in 2001 reporting on the Northern Alliance and their fight to overthrow the Taliban government there. And it was, of course, shortly after 9-11 that I arrived in the country. The Taliban are no more than about a kilometer away. In fact, we were looking through a spotting scope just a few minutes ago, and we could actually see heads above a sandbag over there. I was covering this fight between these Northern Alliance forces and the Taliban. And they were fighting very much like they had fought in World War I, with the trench systems and lobbing uh, artillery and, and mortars back and forth at each other. Let's not go yet. Oh, wow, that was close. The Taliban fired a mortar shell that landed uh, very close to me, maybe okay. no more than 20 feet from me. It exploded, and some of the shrapnel hit a National Geographic producer that was standing right next to me. Get on this side. Get on the other side. Let's get on the other side of the tank. Back there. Other side. Other side. Here. Okay, shoot this. Yeah, we got you. And at that moment, I had to think about, what was I going to do? Do I shoot all of this, or do I bandage up my colleague? And I tried to do both. Go, Gary. Go. Hurry up. Hurry up. Okay. All right. All right. Come on. Chunk of my leg. All right. Let, let's wrap you up first. Give me the fucking scarf. Gary, you just got hit by a tank shell. What the hell did that feel like? It felt like uh, nothing I've ever felt yeah, before. A tornado. And uh, felt the pain and looked down and there was the blood. And a little dazed for a second, but I knew to get the hell out of there. Okay. Now, you think it's serious or are you okay? I can't tell. I'm okay. not, not a medic. All right, let's get you out of here. I, I remembered what I was there for, and it's to tell the story of war. We're going to man back anyway. This is the first time people really got a chance to see blood close up. You know, something happening where someone is actually hurt by some explosion landing next to them. And even though it was a Western and a journalist, I think perhaps that might have told the story even better in some ways, because it made it very clear that you know, when this kind of thing happens, um, people do get hurt. Five years later, when I return, I find the fighting hasn't ended. This time I'm embedded with American soldiers from the 10th Mountain Division's Alpha Company. They're stationed at a remote outpost in Pektika Province, on a base named after Pat Tillman, the former pro football player turned Army Ranger, who was killed in Afghanistan by friendly fire. Even though the Taliban government was toppled from power in 2001, the war seems far from over. All right, so stay away from that right-hand side of the road. Bro. Alpha Company patrols are routinely attacked by Taliban guerrillas, crossing over from tribal areas inside Pakistan, a region where al-Qaeda leader Osama bin Laden may also be hiding out. The soldiers here use a carrot-and-stick approach, trying to woo local villagers into supporting the U.S.-backed government with humanitarian relief, but also ready to use force when attacked, which has become an almost weekly occurrence. <laughs> 